everybody, Beth Steed here, Director of Logistics at Boyd Brothers, and we are continuing our series of The Man Behind the Wheel. So 25 years ago, this past October, wasn't it? Yeah. You yeah. started your journey here at Boyd Brothers. So 2011, Over the Road Driver of the Year, uh, two million miler here at Boyd Brothers. We know all of your backstory as far as what you've done here. Let's talk about the guy behind the wheel. So talk a little bit about what you do when you're not behind the wheel, when you're doing family stuff. Uh, of course, the last couple of years, the, the little kids, but we uh, we have a little farm. We like to mess around on that. You know, we do a little hay baling. My wife's got the horses and goats, and, and we do a lot of hot rod stuff. It's all about the cars at our house. So. And it's Chevrolet's, right? No, no, you know, <laughs> no, all Fords. You know, I know. That's, that's just what we do between us and our boys. We got a lot of cars. So. All right, you've been part of the Boyd family since 1996. How over those 25 years has Boyd helped you be the family man? Well, the first year I ran and ran and ran. You know, we needed the money. Um, you know, way back then we drove for 25 cents a mile. So, but then after the first year when we were expecting our, our son, um, I had to be home every weekend. So, and I just never quit. <laughs> and of course now over the years, Boyd's went to most people get home whenever they want to. So, um, you know, they've always been very family oriented. They've always helped me out with whatever I needed. So uh, it's just been a good fit for me. So tell me a little bit more about your family. Ah, we're a small family. We've got our two sons. Of course, we've uh, we got three grandkids. Um, Jake's currently uh, had a few jobs. Now he's going to school diesel mechanic, so he's going to be in the trucking side of the world too, somewhat. Um, our other son is a diesel mechanic, but he currently works down the Gulf, um, working on being a boat captain. So um, we see him, you know, not as much because he's gone quite a bit. But uh, now most of my a lot of my hot rod stuff doesn't get done because I spend my weekends with the with the little ones. So. <laughs> They are a lot funner though. Yeah, they're funner and they'll be they'll be out in the garage soon enough. So. That's right. All right, so what's a fun fact about Dan that maybe nobody knows? Uh, maybe that I'm a smart aleck. I'm pretty sure everybody knows that one. Uh, I, I don't know, I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty much everybody knows me. So, you know, I used to belong to a motorcycle club. Uh, I am ex-military, had a lot of fun there, seen a lot of the world. Um, before we did any hot rods, we that's what we did was, well, I did was I was in the Harley, so. And then we switched over because that was in a very family friendly, you know, way to live. And, and now we've got all the cars and we've probably had, I don't know, 60 cars. We've got 30 now, so. Um, <laughs> that sounds about right. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Uh, probably training here. I'm only 56. I like to work till I'm at least 70, so um, I intend to be at the drag strip with these guys in a junior drag strip by the time they're 10. And um, I guess I'll probably still be here at Boyd if I'm you know, healthy and able to. I, retirement scares me. I don't, I don't think I would enjoy it, so I kind of want to semi-retire and you know, just keep working. I think retirement would scare Tom having you at the oh, home yeah. lot oh, much. Yeah. You want to know the answer to a happy marriage? <laughs> be gone a lot. Make, yeah, yeah. Oh, be gone a lot. Driving. That's right. Be gone a lot. Makes for a happy marriage. <laughs>